it has just been leaked by reliable sources that apparently Naughty Dog is currently in full-blown development on The Last of Us Part 3, and additionally, there's a new Uncharted that's currently being worked on, but Naughty Dog isn't involved at all. And I want to talk about this. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's start things off by taking a look at this. Over here, we have a tweet by Joe Miller, and it says, Projects Naughty Dog is currently doing for the PlayStation 5. We have Factions Part 2. Uh, remember, apparently, the standalone multiplayer. Then They were first making The Last of Us Part 2. They wanted to do another multiplayer component, much like Factions in the first game was very very popular but this one they wanted to try and scale it up they wanted to try and make it bigger better more actually important to the universe so now we're getting the standalone multiplayer for the last of us part 2 which is being called factions 2 but naughty dog has also confirmed they're working on a big new sci-fi fantasy style ip which is interesting to think. I mean, honestly, they've kind of made more grounded universes for this last 15 years or so. Uh, so I'm kind of curious what this universe is going to look like. And now there's talks that Neil Druckmann specifically is working on The Last of Us Part 3. Now, part of what's interesting about this is because just a couple days ago, people were talking about the fact that apparently uncharted which is a franchise that helped make them so famous in the first place is not going to be worked on going forward by naughty dog themselves they're not going to be touching it whatsoever sony is taking it and giving it to a completely different studio altogether now i will admit this makes me a bit nervous just because uh, i mean i like uncharted a lot uncharted is some of the best action adventure games if you're really trying to get that movie vibe if you want to have that tom cruise feel to your video game nathan drake gives that to you the best now we need to address both aspects of this rumor but let's start things off by taking a look specifically at the rumors that involve the naughty dog working on the last of us part three here we go. Recently, it's claimed by a prominent video game and movie leaker on Twitter that Neil Druckmann, the co-president of Naughty Dog, is currently working on The Last of Us Part 3 and that it's, quote, his next game. While this news is not a complete surprise, it's a step towards confirmation that The Last of Us Part 3 even exists. Last year, Druckmann confirmed that there was something of a plot for The Last of Us Part 3, and then this year there were whisperings that it was in the earliest stages of development, but this could be a step closer steal. Now, um, I'm kind of interested about this, mostly because the controversy around The Last of Us Part 2 was incredibly fascinating to me. Uh, this year, I decided to do a complete 100% playthrough of The Last of Us Part 2. In fact, yesterday, I even showed the fact that uh, Last of Us Part 2 is one of my most played games in all of 2022. Uh, whoops, I did not mean to play it that much. But I'm kind of curious because that game... Um, a lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. I'm still mostly on the negative side of the fence. As good as that combat was, as I mean, honestly, as impossibly fantastic and photorealistic as the graphics were, I still feel like The Last of Us Part Two felt like it was trying to be controversial, which personally... I really just do not like. It feels like it was trying to be shocking and edgy. Oh, we're killing important characters. But I also kind of, in a way, respect that. I kind of like the fact that The Last of Us Part Two tried to be so different. It tried to make you question characters. It tried to make you question how dark a video game can be without just being complete hogwash. So trying to see where they could go with The Last of Us Part 3 immediately intrigues me. But I will admit, I hope it does not involve Abby whatsoever. 
But let me go back to this article here. So right now, there is talks that this is probably going to be several years away. It's kind of interesting that technically there are three separate Last of Us games in development just now at Naughty Dog. There's the PC port of The Last of Us Part 1. Obviously, they're working on Factions 2, which we talked about. And now, well, obviously, The Last of Us Part 3 in its entirety. This is so interesting. Both of those, uh, obviously two of those games are a smaller project. Last of Us Part 3 is probably taking the primary precedent. But this is funny that this leaker apparently did it because he didn't get a chance to have early access to the Last of Us TV show. This guy, Viewer Anon, apparently is a pretty solid source of Naughty Dog leaks and rumors. There's even these specific rumors that this guy has been talking about and other leakers have been diving into that apparently they want The Last of Us Part 3 to be the end of a Dead Set trilogy, that they want to end it with apparently maybe curing the cordyceps brain infection to end this apocalypse and let things get back to normal, which is a pretty bold thing. I feel like a lot of companies now, especially in the film industry, but also to a degree in the video game industry, they always want to leave things hanging. They always want to have that opening for another sequel, another spinoff. I think it would be very, very bold, honestly, to maybe give us a conclusion, maybe even, as weird as it is, maybe even a happy ending, although that's very difficult to imagine. In fact, people are already making memes like this, me playing (laughs) Last of Us Part 3 in 2027, and it's just that little kid bawling her eyes out with a PlayStation 4 controller. Um, I mean, honestly, I do think that they're probably going to try and find a way to go even darker. Maybe they'll go full-blown emo and start to put, like, Welcome to the Black Parade and My Chemical Romance in there. Okay, but seriously, here's the other leak that uh, I've seen people talking about. This came out a couple days ago, and I didn't report on it at the time because, honestly, uh, it just seemed a bit strange, but more people have come forward and verified it. Sony is reportedly planning to rebuild the Uncharted series for the fifth installment. The outlet has heard from two independent sources that Naughty Dog will not be involved in the development of the game and instead it's created by a different studio. Now some people when you hear the word reboot we imagine completely restarting it. Maybe you know doing it with a young Nathan Drake or redoing the previous games. I don't think that's what this is. Now, this is my own personal speculation, but the term reboot, when I hear it now in this era of Sony, I think it's going to be something like God of War 2018. God of War 2018 was technically a reboot. It brought back Kratos, but with a completely different camera angle, a completely different focus to the story, a completely different vibe to the game itself. While it is technically the same universe, it goes in such a different direction, it might as well be a totally different game. I think, personally, that that's what they want to try and do with Nathan Drake. Maybe not make him hyper-realistic or give him like a sad story to try and cry about. But I do think the idea of taking Nathan Drake and putting him in a slightly different environment, a different genre, I think that could be very, very effective. I guess I'm just very curious to see what this new version of Uncharted looks like. Every Uncharted game I've ever played has been a 10 out of 10 experience. I mean, it's weird how good every Uncharted game actually is. I mean, these are all kind of bangers. I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit. I definitely have my gripes with certain Uncharted games' puzzles and pacing, but when they work, they work so extremely well. Sometimes I live stream on YouTube, and there's this guy who every time I've ever streamed ever He super chats and says, hey, brother, I just want to buy you a drink for when we eventually get the next Uncharted. His name is Matt. This guy, Matt, is obsessed with the idea of getting another Uncharted. And I guess I'm most curious for fans like that, the Matts of the world. Are you interested in the idea of an Uncharted game that doesn't involve Naughty Dog? I guess we're all going to find out. But please, if you could, tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please, keep dreaming. I'm actually slowly healing. This is the first video I filmed in 
in a week and a half where I've coughed zero times. And you know what? I don't know why I got so dang sick, but it feels good to feel good. I'm going to go eat a pound of egg whites.